Hello there, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to sign up into PayPal, how you can set it up your account into PayPal and how you can receive money without having to add a bank account. So let's jump right into it so you don't have to be worrying about anything at all. Alright, so first of all I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description so you can click into that link and it's going to be sending you right away into PayPal. So you're going to see something like this. Alright, so what you want to do is to input the code and the mobile number in order to create your account and hit into next. Once you have successfully done that, it's going to be sending us an email or in this case a code verification that we need to provide into the PayPal account company and then we can hit into continue. Alright, so in my case actually what I just need to do is to add an email account. It's going to be asking you for your address, it's going to be asking you for your full legal name in order to continue. And actually, I uh, this won't let me continue because I already have an account, so that's the reason why it already appears in here. So if I go into my PayPal account, it's going to be looking, your account is going to be looking like this. So once you have created your account, first of all, you need to set it up correctly in order to receive the money without having to, to add a bank or create a debit card account. So. As you can see, I do have a PayPal balance, quick links, actions, insights. I have a lot of stuff in here. You don't have to be worrying about this or intimidating because I do have a business account. If you choose an individual account, you can always go into your account, go into profile settings. And in here, you want to scroll all the way down and find the account type. So in here you can choose to individual into business and there you go. You are good to go. Now what we want to do is to receive the money without having to add anything else. So once you have your phone number and your email already confirmed it, what you want to do is to go back into PayPal and go into the pay and get paid section, which is actually this one. And then what I want to do is to find something called PayPal that me. If I choose this option, it's going to be sending me into the PayPal uh, link section where I can create a custom link. So what's going to happen, I'm going to be going into manage paypal.me and here what I want to do is to uh, whether I can choose to delete this profile or not, but in here if I copy and paste this link, what I can do is to send this link into someone else's. So someone else is going to be, I'm going to go into a private window, so I'm going to be seeing my private link. So here it is, PayPal me, and this is my account. I'm going to choose enter, and this is how it's going to be looking, right? So it's going to be, this is my account, this is everything where I'm from, you're currently based. So the person who sees this link needs to choose into the send option. And of course, they need to sign into a PayPal account. If this one is from other uh, country like the United States, they actually don't need to subscribe or to sign up. So after they send the payment, I can go back into my account, I can go back into my wallet. And once I have located my wallet, like this, I'm using here, I'm going to go into my balance, which is actually this one. I just need to wait a couple of seconds and here it is my balance. Here is what I have what I do have available. If you want to see other options of how you can receive your money, you can go into send request payments. And in here, what you want to do, if you want to send a payment, you want to request actually request a payment from, do you want to add a payment for a person that has a username, an email, or a mobile number linked it with a PayPal account. So after that people, that person, that personal guy provides you that information, you have to input it in here. And once PayPal located the person that you want to make the chat for, here you want to add your custom currency. Let's say that I want to receive this in USDC and I want to receive just the $100, right? If you want to add something else, uh, someone else, you can add it in here. What is this a payment for? Let's say that this is for a freelancer job and you can input your name, full legal name, and then you can go into request a payment. So the payment is going to be sent right away into this guy. So you can go uh, and contact that guy. So 
you have to be really sure just to get really sure that this person received the request meant section if you have a business account you can always go into business tools and inside the business tools you can actually know uh, a little bit more about the payment uh, the paypal checkout so the paypal checkout actually can be added correctly into your into your into your store if you're like starting here into the e-commerce world so if you want to add that into your store you have to choose the get started option and you want to select the option how do you want to set up a paypal checkout you want to go into choose a ready to go option or choose a coded on your side uh, in my case in our case we do want to look for this option because we don't want to add optional chargeback and fraud protection but if you do want to add that you can go into the cho uh, choose option in my case i do want to just select like the basic one and in here what's going to happen is going to be popping up this customize smart payment button so what we need to do here is to have the pixel the specific price that you want to select the item description the item price the fee of the shipping if it applies the tax rate of course and if you want you can choose a bottom style which is actually really really great so let's say that i want to choose like a white color and choose pale and horizontal so it's going to be looking like this if i want to change the color for blue for example it's going to be looking like this or even gold because this is like the most popular right this car is going to be looking into desktop and this car is going to be looking into mobile so once you have already successfully done here is the tag line you just need to copy the code and this code you can paste it co this code into the website that you currently created which is actually really really easy and the last thing that i can be helping you with is with the market for growth so here into the marketing tools we have the pay letter messaging so um you can buy someone can buy from your store and later they're going to be charging for them using the credit card but actually that's like not important what is really important is that you go into your home section and you can create just a few stuff and remember that all your money is going to be received that into your paypal balance is going to be available in here and this money you can just go into go to money page and you can send your money directly from a debit from a credit card from a specific bank account or if you want to use this balance to make some payments you can do that you don't have to send your money away which is actually for myself is like the best part of paypal so hopefully guys it was a very useful video for you thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel just in case you have any questions you can leave it down below in the comment section and once again i'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so you can sign up totally for free and you might get a few rewards just by signing up uh, with this paypal account so now that you guys know how to manage this paypal as a pro uh, with luck with that, have fun and I will see you next time.